Today we're going to be making this intro. It's the Sony Columbia logo. Looks like a flare in the background and then it zooms in and it reveals the Columbia Pictures video. I wasn't able to find anything out there on YouTube for it, so I went ahead and made the project files for you guys. And I'm gonna show you how to use it quickly and efficiently, and I want you guys to be out of this tutorial within a minute, so let's go. So here we are, we're gonna go into the folder. This is the test footage. We've got this, it zooms in very normally. We've got some motion blur. We're gonna go ahead and open the After Effects file. Once you're in here, you're gonna see it's, it's the same thing. We've got the, the text here and you can change this text to whatever you want. I used Arial Black as a standard font because everybody has this font. Pause. Real quick, if you wanted to use your own logo or another logo of your brand, you want this logo to be a really large size. I would recommend something around this size, just a higher resolution so that when you're zooming in with the camera, it's not going to look pixely or blurry. It's going to look really clean. And let's get back to the tutorial. Let's go ahead and type in this. Then you're going to export it. We're going to add to the render queue. And we're going to just do these settings that I like. It's H.264, uh, the format options. We're going to do software encoding just because that's just how I do it. Don't come at me. We're going to do 45 because that's just the standard for double the frame rate. And we're going to max this out. So I'll say OK. And we're going to put this into, you're going to see where the test footage is. We're going to put that intro there. So let's render it out. And now let's hop into our Premiere project. So now we're going to open the footage. So we've already got it loaded up. You can see this zooms in and the footage reveals itself through the text. So here we're going to replace the logo. That's where you're going to replace your footage. We're going to pull the Sony intro in there load it up and it's already done nice easy peasy this is where you can replace the footage uh, you can put whatever you want i just have some christmas stuff there for now so this is where the track mat is that's what is going to be on your intro for the for the logo so that's what it's looking at when it um, enters into the frame the reason why it stops here is because this one has the track mat key and this one doesn't. So there you go. And this is what mine looks like. Brought in some flares from Artlist uh, to add to it, but there you go. Let me know if this video was helpful. I'm using this channel to just upload content and creative things that I've been working on lately. Happy holidays, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.